guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. I wanted to talk to you today about keeping your head down while you bench. All right, I see a lot of lifters, what they'll do is they're going through the motion, right? They'll look that bar in and they'll completely lift their head off the pad. More, uh, some more so than others. Like they'll really drastically look that bar in, some just slightly lift it. But either way, I'm telling you, a lot more benefit from just keeping your head down on the pad, all right? Not only is some federations going to actually make you keep your head on the pad, so if you're um, thinking about doing USAPL, trying to make it to the IPF ranks, you're going to have to keep your head down. That's just part of the rule book, all right? Um, for the rest of you, or why keep your head down as opposed to look the bar in, I understand as you look the bar in, it kind of gives you that load into the lats feel, but there's other ways to capture that feel. All right, I've been there. I spent a long time lifting my head early on, and it's when I made the connection to keep my head down, focus more on how I'm driving through the floor, lifting my chest to the bar, keeping my head neck planted, is when I really started to improve my position and start to increase my bench as well. So I'm going to show you what actually happens uh, as you tend to lift your head, okay? And why it's just more beneficial to keep it planted, focus on that leg drive. So if we come back here, all right, get into a little setup for you. All right, as I take that bar out, this is me looking the bar in. All right, if I lift, I lift, I lift, I lift right here, and you want to throw back. All right, concept seems okay, but look at where my chest is now. All right, and take a look at where it's going to end up. I start to roll my shoulders forward, opposite of what we want. My chest starts to collapse, right, as I lift my head. I'm sure, I can see what's going on, right? I feel like I'm loading to my left, but in reality, I'm dropping tightness there. I'm rolling my shoulders forward, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to create upper back tightness that way. I can't do both here, lifting the head and trying to create that upper back tightness. Now, look at how much prettier it looks if I focus on just planting the back of my neck into this pad, using my legs to push myself into that area, and think about lifting my chest to the bar. Much different look. All right? See, look at the difference. Just by getting that leg drive, planting my neck, my chest lifts as opposed to collapses. All right? So I'm trying to drive my chest to the bar. I'm keeping my head planted. I'm driving myself onto my traps. And boom, look at so much tighter. Boom. All right. So not only is it a huge technical advantage just to keep your head down, but some federations will actually make you. So might as well learn that. Um, hard habit to get rid of. I know I've been through it. Um, it's actually funny seeing some of the things that people will do that help keep their head down. A lot of things you can do that I don't really recommend. I've had lifters actually put a band, a mini band, around their forehead and strap it to the pad. I don't recommend you do that, but whatever breaks the habit, you know what I'm saying? So um, I've had, I've heard of coaches who actually duct tape their lifters' head to the pad too. Um, that sounds pretty badass, so I would try that. But anything, again, to break the habit, tough habit to break, especially if you're doing it a long time, but guys, it can give you a really good benefit on the bench press, all right? Keep those heads down, drive that chest up. Coach Ben here. And you know.